Ding tong, it's tong time! And we're currently in a secret location thanks to rustg.com. This is Tong's Toy Box, my name is Ryan, and this is a channel dedicated to unboxing all the toys in my collection. Except this time, it's not my toys. Shout out to a friend of mine, Ikuan, who kindly allowed me to open his blind box. Of course, he's not giving it to me, man. I mean, like, it's 250 ringgit, man. It comes in a pack of six, and you have no idea what you're gonna get inside this box. So, this is a box by Medology and Zin Chin. A little bit about Medology they are designer toy producer based in China and Zin Chin is a local Malaysian artist he's a graphic designer he has a book called Rechild and the monsters inside here are based off this 122 page book so it's about A3 size you know the art block size that we used to do in school All right so in this book has full of magic goblins monsters warlocks stuff that you used to see in games and i think his artwork would be stuff like if warcraft 3 loading pages with japanese art that's what zin chin's artworks look like yeah warcraft 3 if warcraft 3 was japanese Alright, so let's get into this box. This is a box of little monsters which are kinas or Japanese goblins found in his book, Rechild. And they are dressed up as classic monsters from movies. So as you can see on the art box, there's Frankenstein, Bigfoot, Dracula, Kappa and the Devil. There's also a bonus blind box that contains the werewolf but I'm not sure if we're that lucky to get it inside here so there are a few variations of a few characters such as uh, instead of Bigfoot there might be Yeti instead of Kappa there might be Mushroom Kappa and instead of the Red Devil there might be the Blue Hair Devil let's get this open I'm surprised my fingernails could do that Nice packaging, nice case. Promise I'm gonna pick that up later. You know, I don't want to mess up somebody else's studio. <laughs> Alright. Zam zam ala kazam. So now, with that magic I just did, you know, the little uru uru yuru, yeah, I managed to open all of the boxes and Voila! Okay. Let's take a look at box number one of Zin Chin's version of cute little monsters. So each blind box comes with a little card to show you what you'll get. In this case, this is gonna be the devil and a medology logo card thingy so let's take a look at the first figure so if you look at illustrations of this uh, Japanese devils they always have curly hair I have no idea why and this one is holding a blue bat alright so let's take a look at his head again curly hair nice thick beard a big cheeky grin and his eyebrows are raised up to show you how cheeky this guy is moving on to the body cute little black nipples a tiger apron slash underwear that he's using something similar to what you know the sumos have or maybe it's just japanese underwear i'm not sure man and he looks like he's ready to give you the beating of your life all right Next up in blind box number two. Blind box number two comes with a yellow logo and look, it's Kappa. 
Kappa, so this is probably going to be Kappa, which it is. Let's take a look at Kappa. Kappa here is fully green, even his hair is green. And let's take a look at his head. You know, he has hair like how mine would look like if I did grow my hair. Empty on the top, shining, shining. You can see his nice horns hair on the side and a cheeky cheeky pouty smile moving on to the body as with all kappas he has his giant turtle shell on the back and on the front in his overall there's a giant cucumber sticking out of his front pouch which looks exactly like what it looks like you know what it looks like it looks like a giant cucumber sticking out of his front pouch Moving on to box number three. Blind box number three is... This is Bigfoot. Bigfoot on the card. And let's see what Bigfoot looks like in the figure. So this Bigfoot here is in a full blue overall suit. Let's take a look at his face. Nice big buck tooth. His mouth is wide open, clearly showing you how to roar. And you can see his horns sticking out from his head. His hands on the side and moving on to the body. This guy has a black belly and pink nipples. On the back, you see his cute little white bum and little details of his fur in sort of like silver grayish colors. And that is it. In the next box, let's see what this is. From the card, we can see this is Frankenstein. Let's see what the figure looks like right now. So we can see this figure in a pantsless Kina as usual, always looking cute. Nice big Frankenstein headpiece on his head. And he's missing so, so many teeth. Classic Frankenstein hair and two big bolt nuts sticking out of the side of his head. And if you look closely on the bolt nuts, you could see the shape of the Kina's head, which looks really, really cool and adds a little bit of details to the head sculpt. Moving on to the body, this guy has on the classic Frankenstein jacket and a t-shirt showing that he's full of battery. I'm guessing because he charged Frankenstein up. The jacket has two small pockets and he's not wearing any pants so all you see is his yellow undies. Fourth, no wait, fifth, I don't know how to count. Fifth box is... What is this? This is Dracula! It's probably the cutest thing you'll ever see down here because this Dracula is in the nude! You know, his arms wide open, really really proud of what he's carrying and what is he carrying? Before we look at what he's carrying, let's look at his head. Nice, nice hairstyle looking more dapper than all of the other figures you know sleek sleek hair and fangs to show you that he is Dracula and his hands are wide open cute little bow tie you can see his blue nipples and the thing special about this figure is the fact that his nether regions his southern regions whatever you want to call it his package is pixelated to show you that censorship is important in toys. Nice cape with the classic colors, blue and red. And that is it for figure number five. I'm guessing that figure number six is gonna be the chase. The special thing, it could be a werewolf or it could be this guy, this guy, or this guy in different variations. Let's see. We have Whoa, this is, who is this? This is 
probably gonna be the Yeti. This card is different than the rest. Nice gold plated. No, it's not gold plated. Nice gold colorings. Nice gold letters. And let's take a look at this figure. This figure looks similar to the Bigfoot. So this Yeti is pink. Also has a nice shiny finish on the suit with pink rectangles to show the fur. His face is the same, but this time his nose is yellow and his paws are pink. Okay, this guy's body comes with the same beer belly, but this time it's in pink as well. And his nipples are yellow. On the back, nice same cute bum that we all know and love. And that is it for Madology X Zine Chins figures. A big shout out to Ikon again for lending me his toys. I would have never known about this. And he's also the guy that teaches me a lot about designer toys. The guy is actually coming up with his own line of toys soon but you gotta wait and see. Links in the description to his Instagram page as well as mine. You can follow us there to get more updates. And that is it. If you guys are interested to get this, I also have links in the bottom of the screen, which is the description area. And you guys could pick up a set for yourself and see what chase you would get. I know each box comes with the basic set and a chase. So good luck if you're ever going to buy it and thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of Tong's Toy Box unboxing featuring a local artist uh, version of toys. And if you like this, do hit the like button and if you want to see more, do subscribe. Check out my old videos. When new videos come out, you'll get notification and that is it. Hope you guys have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.